A date has been set for the findings to be delivered at an inquest into the disappearance of Sydney fraudster Melissa Caddick. Ms Caddick vanished in late 2020 as the corporate watchdog was investigating allegations she was running a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme. Reporter Jamie McKinnell has more now from outside the coroner's court. This inquest began in September and has held roughly three weeks of hearings since then. It's been looking into all aspects of Melissa Caddick's disappearance. The 49-year-old vanished from Sydney's eastern suburbs in November 2020 when ASIC, the corporate watchdog, was investigating allegations she was running a Ponzi scheme. The inquest was told that the alleged fraud involved in that was between 20 and $30 million. Now we have a date for when all eyes will be on the findings, April 27. The Deputy State Coroner Elizabeth Ryan, who heard this inquest, has today thanked Melissa Caddick's husband and relatives for attending, and she's also said that she appreciates the stress that the inquest has imposed upon them. Today's witness was Detective Chief Inspector Glenn Brown. Now, he was in charge of the missing persons registry when Melissa Caddick disappeared in 2020. He's already appeared before the inquest, but he was recalled to answer some more questions. He's conceded that the standard operating procedures for when the homicide squad should be notified of suspicious circumstances in a missing persons case could have been clearer. We've learned that those standard operating procedures have since been updated and clarified. But today, Detective Chief Inspector Brown said that even if this case had unfolded under the new guidelines, he doesn't believe it would have been handled any differently. Melissa Caddick's foot washed up on a beach on the New South Wales south coast about three months after she disappeared. Today we also learned that there have been two supplementary autopsy reports written and tendered to the court. The details of those wasn't explored to any great extent during today's hearing, but we were told by the council assisting that part of those reports go to fractures that were found in the bones of the foot and what, if any, injuries those fractures might indicate. Between now and the day of the findings, all of the different legal parties will be writing their final submissions. At the start of this whole process, the council assisting did flag the distinct possibility that an open finding might be returned.